I was born and raised by my parents without so much expectations from me. I was not that kind of daughter that is expected to bring home the titles and the gold. I was just an ordinary individual that goes with the flow. Before, I surprisingly don't know what I want to be, where I want to be. You know, a typical little girl that as long as mama and daddy are there, life is so perfect. It was a little too late when I finally realized and understand that I'm actually different. Different from most of the people around me. I was blessed with this extra charms. That's how I call it. That affects every nerve ending of my body and possibility of affecting my brain functions too. So when I finally realize it, I ask myself, where should I go if this is the case? What would be my purpose? What should I do to accept my situation and life as a whole? I tried to find myself. I tried to find my career in BPOs. <laughs> I tried to find my career in human resource world. But I did not feel doing any of those. Until one day. I found myself sitting in front of a seven-year-old child with Down syndrome. He touched my face and said, Pat Pidgen, and flashed the sweetest smile I have ever seen. And that was the start of my so-called journey. Special journey. Gaining deeper understanding with the special individuals around me is quite overwhelming. In their eyes, I see light and realize how beautiful life is. It feels like, finally, I felt belong and accepted. I can still remember my very first bruise, a welcome gift from my student with autism. It was like a freshly baked eggplant. Watching them in a zoo-like situation running through my head were all the ways I hoped to connect with them, engage them in meaningful learning and activities. It was never easy, and I know never will. But the funny thing is, I am loving it. I felt deeply in love with them. After college, I started joining organizations and programs specializing differently abled individuals. I became a volunteer for various bed-related activities, wearing costumes, hosting different events, outreach programs, and many more. I also had opportunities to give talks, workshops, and trainings about special children and sign language. And for the second time, I fell in love. This time, deeper in love with them. In my chosen career, I have learned when to be a teacher, when to be a sister or even a brother, when to be a mother, and when to be a friend. Also, being a SPED teacher, you will always be asked, why don't you go abroad? There's so much opportunity for you. And the salary is good. I don't know why, but I'm not really attracted with the salary. My family is not that rich, but maybe, maybe because for me, in life, money is secondary of everything. 
I am very happy serving my fellow Filipino special individuals. Although my dad cannot understand my chosen path, my mom is my savior. Hayaan mo ang anak mo. Kung gusto mag charity, dyan siya masaya. Being a volunteer and a teacher for almost eight years is one of the best thing happened to me. Meeting people from different industries with the same level of energy, with the same level of heart in serving the special community is simply the best. A year ago, I started going to different places, not only to travel, but to have deeper purpose. I went to Ilocos and Negros Oriental to share knowledge in sign language. That is also the reason why we started a group called Project Whatever. Whatever help we can give at your service. Because of this project, we were able to support a student for a year, raise funds to support various outreach programs. We we're also able to support deaf students on their community projects. I never thought I would come this far. I never thought that I would choose to be brave despite of so much fear running through my veins. I never thought I would learn to live and share in a world full of judgmental eyes. I never thought I would learn how to accept myself and stop asking the heavens why. I left myself with one choice, and that is to believe. It does not matter who I am, what I am. What matters most is big or small, I can make a difference.